Marie Antonescu here. I'm going to talk and model through the process of a normal birth and then a variation of normal birth. So first, here is the pelvis. This is a neutral pelvis. Here's the iliac crest, ASIS. Here we have a pubic symphysis. These are our sit bones, or our, yes, our ischial tuberosities. A lot of people call them sit bones. These are um, the spines, ischial spines. And then if we look at the posterior of the pelvis, we have the sacrum and the coccyx, the tailbone. This one is fused, but ideally they move. They can give a little extra room for the baby. Also, the sacrum can mutate during birth, and even the pelvis has some play to it. Not as much as I'm demonstrating, but you get the idea. So this baby is going to come in transverse. Oh, I also want to show the inlet, the mid pelvis, and the outlet. This baby's coming in transverse. And then baby's going to rotate internally. So the back of the baby will be forward. Here's the mom's or the person's abdomen. And then as the baby's head hits the pelvic floor, it flexes even more. Ideally, it's already flexed going in, but then it flexes even more. I need a couple more hands. <laughs> and the baby comes out. It can extend a little bit once it comes through the pelvic floor muscles. Can restitute, adjust its neck a little. And then the shoulders will rotate. Once the shoulders rotate, then we know the baby is ready to be born. A variation is if the baby came in asynclitic. So instead of coming in a nice easy, um, aligned fashion, they'd be a bit wonky. This could happen because the pelvic floor muscles might be tighter on one side, or there are different layers of the pelvic floor. And they create a path for the baby to follow, but if certain layers are tight or twisted, then the baby can, all it can do is follow. So then it could get into a wonky position in there. This can happen if someone rides a lot of horses or is a ballerina, um, an ice skater, has fallen a lot, fallen on the sacrum a lot. Anything that causes trauma here. And then one side is, well, it's just imbalanced. <laughs> and then the baby might end up in their wonky. Another reason this might happen is the baby might have a hand on its chin or face or head. So then when it comes in, that hand and elbow need to fit too. Um, a, rare, a rare complication could be an umbilical cord wrapped around it a couple times. So then the baby has to come in only with whatever slack it has from the umbilical cord. But again, that's rare. So what we may see in a mom, if the baby's coming in all wonky, is that um, contractions might become irregular. They might be an irregular for a while. There might be one-sided discomfort because the baby's not right in the middle. The mom might feel it way over on one side. And I mean, we want to get her out of pain if she's feeling that. So I'll show you a couple techniques. We may... Uh, see that pushing could be really difficult or dilation could be delayed in progress at about eight, nine centimeters, just, just kind of nothing else happens. So what can we do if a baby's coming in wonky or we think a baby's coming in wonky? One thing we could do is a vaginal exam if you and the mom want. And then what you're looking for is, is the baby coming in nice and symmetrical off to the side? Are you feeling an ear? <laughs> like what are you feeling when you go in? And if you decide 
to do that, we'll do techniques to help lift the baby back out. So if it is a hand, you can move the hand. Or maybe if it's pelvic floor balance and possibly bringing the baby back up, the pelvic floor can release in different ways. It's worth a shot. So I'll show you a couple techniques. One is knees to chest. So it's like a child's pose, except the butt is up in the air. And then if you want to add to this, someone could have a cloth or a rebozo to stick around the mom's butt. And then as the mom is in the position, that person can be sifting the baby up out of the pelvis. So the mom would still be here and someone else would be sifting. That just helps bring the baby up and hopefully readjusts. Another thing, it's a Captain Morgan stance. So it's a lunge, but it's not a straightforward lunge. It's out to the side. And ideally, ideally a person would do this for three contractions if they're willing, and then the other side for three contractions. So those are a few ideas to help lift the baby back up so then it can get another, another start, another try. Say it's going in wonky, baby comes up a little bit, maybe it can readjust and come out a little bit smoother. So that's what I have for you today. Process of a normal birth and a variation of a normal birth. Have a great day.